You might be asking yourself, Remy Studio, I thought you already made a video about the Tuvan People's Republic. And you would be right. Yet that video only touched the tip of the iceberg. This video will be looking into detail about the Tuvan Armed Forces and what Tuva did during the Second World War. Like most nations in the world, Tuva had a military. The Tuvan military was called the Tuvan People's Revolutionary Army. The army was mainly made up of infantry, cavalry, and maybe some armored vehicles such as tanks. The Tuvan Armed Forces did have an air force, from around 3 to 4 planes. The air force was mostly made up by biplanes. During the Second World War, Tuva did build 10 Yak 7B fighter planes, but they gave them to the Soviet Union. The Tuvan Armed Forces had around 1,500 men in it. When Nazi Germany invaded the Soviet Union, most say the United Kingdom were their first ally. But this is not the case. Tuva in 1941 sent their announcement of support to the Soviet Union nine hours before England did. As stated before, Tuva gave 10 Yak 7B fighter planes to the Soviets as support. But that's not all Tuva did. Tuva sent 50,000 war horses to the USSR. Two tank brigades were created and sent to the Eastern Front. Tuva gave 400 tons of meat, 70,000 tons of sheep wool, 16,000 pairs of felt boots, and 19,000 pairs of mittens were all sent to the aid of the Soviets. But wait, there's more! Tuva even sent volunteers. The first group of volunteers were about 200 people. And in 1943, Tuva sent about 206 cavalrymen. Reportedly, the Germans feared the Tuvan cavalry. A German officer reported, quote, This attack was terrible and had an extremely demoralizing effect on the German soldiers. And the hordes of barbarians galloped towards us, from which there was no salvation. End quote. After such encounters, the Germans nicknamed the Tuvan cavalry the Black Death. In conclusion, the notion that the Tuvan People's Republic did nothing to help the war is simply false. As we see, Tuva sent a lot of aid to the Soviets and even made the Germans fear their cavalry. As we learn in school and in life, never judge a book by its cover. <laughs>